Okay, uh, what do we cover in a business continuity plan? What is the environment uh, for the business continuity planning? Uh, well, it's everything. All aspects of the business. Um, you are looking at personnel, and, and this frequently gets missed. Um, I have mentioned succession planning. That is an important part of it. Um, what are you going to do with your personnel? What are you going to do for your personnel? What are you going to do to ensure that your personnel, in the event, the event of a regional disaster, are uh, able to get to work, to do things that you need them to do? Um, these days, uh, you know, we got snow here, again, still. Um, and so basically, you know, last week the town shut down kind of officially for two days and, and really for three. Um, and yesterday, not a heck of a lot got done uh, just because there's snow on the ground. And, you know, your, your people need to uh, get to work unless you have made provision for remote work. Um, if you already have some remote work, you're going to have to expand that. And expanding that on the fly is, is not something you can do. You're going to have to set up that uh, the ability for remote work, the uh, functionality for remote work, the extra uh, systems, um, software, uh, security, uh, virtual private networks, etc., 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 whatever you need in terms of ensuring that your people can work remotely, you know, that's got to be ready, that's got to be in place. Um, and so, you know, don't look at the current uh, push for remote work as something to fight against. You know, this is an opportunity for you to test out remote work, see if it does work, have everything in place so that, you know, if something happens, uh, you are prepared for it. You know, that's, that's what we're all about here is preparedness. Uh, but succession planning, yes. Um, Oh, and I can't remember the name of the company. Um, you know, on one of the top floors of the World Trade Towers, that was their head office. Um, in one instant, they lost uh, you know, their head office. 75% uh, of their total personnel. Um, and you know, somebody in, in the office in London was on the phone to somebody in New York. And the phone went dead on 9-11. Um, they are still in operation. That's a company that has a decent business continuity plan and succession planning. All of their, I think possibly all except one of their senior staff died. So, um, you know, you're, maybe you'll... Not all of your senior staff die, but uh, they may be unavailable. Uh, you know, they, they may be elsewhere. Uh, they may be out of communications. They, you know, there, there's all kinds of possibilities here. Have a succession plan. Who is in charge uh, when a disaster happens? And, and as I say, um, you know, think about the fact that uh, in and during a disaster, at least in the initial stages, um, it's the emergency people, the disaster recovery people, who are in charge because they're the ones who know what the plan is and why the various aspects of the plan are in place and have worked through it so they have a better idea of how to make decisions if decisions need to be made to change the plan. 
But of course, you know, there's also facilities. Uh, you know, what have we got in terms of buildings? What have we got in terms of our physical plant? What uh, is the problem with our physical plant? What are the limitations in regard to what kind of incident has happened? Um, our infrastructure, our support services, uh, our supply lines. Uh, I, I mean, supply chain has always been a, a business uh, and logistics uh, issue, but it's been in the background. And, and during the pandemic, of course, it became a very common phrase. Everybody was all of a sudden concerned about supply chain. And supply chain was being used as an excuse as to why we couldn't deliver what we are supposed to deliver. So, you know, look at your infrastructure. Uh, look at your support system. Uh, Again, you know, is logistics part of your basic business or just does it just support you? Uh, power, utilities, water, uh, sewage, you know, these, these types of things. IT may be crucial to your business or it may be a support system. But again, you know, don't, don't neglect it. Um, have your, uh, you know, and we're, we're particularly... In, in here going to talk about information systems because we are of course talking about information security but uh, you know whether or not it is um, the key component of your business it is something to consider um, and again you know when one of the first things that that we've got to do uh, is this you know business impact analysis and finding out which of our systems are crucial which of our systems are absolutely vital which are the ones that have to be put back in place immediately even if incompletely or uh, uh, not completely accurately or you know anyways you know they they may be degraded in some way but this is crucial this is something that if we don't have, we don't have a business. So, 